So in today's Minecraft Survival Let's Play, we're back in the kingdom, and I picked out a few challenges from those who mentioned in the comment sections from the last episode. Make sure you watch until the end to see if I actually complete those challenges or if I fail at them. And if you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way, click that subscribe button and notification bell, and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that. Let's see if we can reach a thousand likes in today's episode. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. All right, so there's a few things that I've asked you guys in the last episode that you know very well of the challenge that I set up to my own failure, essentially, okay? And I just said the word, okay? Essentially was the word that I completely said way too many times, I think countless numerous amounts of times. And you guys had to come up with a few challenges for me to try and complete in today's episode. One of them is try not to say guys in the next episode. This one got a lot of likes and a lot of support. So that is going to be the challenge moving forward from now. Now, in this episode, I cannot say the word guys. Don't count that one, okay? That's just an example. And the next one is I cannot use the word potentially. That is the second challenge for two words that I cannot use in this episode. And knowing myself, I'm already probably going to drag myself into failure. Now, if I mess up in the comment section, you all can pick a forfeit or a challenge that I have to try to complete, okay? And I know I already feel like I'm going to mess this up. I really feel like I'm going to mess this up already, okay? But I'm going to try my best to not think about it too much and go on with the episode because we have a few things that I want to try and to complete. Now, there's one thing that another comment stood out, which was to blindfold myself and to build a house. This one, it just honestly caught my attention and I really want to make it an episode. Now, I need all of you to figure out in the comment section, where should I build this blindfolded house? Should it be in the survival world or should I build it in a creative world just for the fun of it? So let me know your thoughts on that. Now, as you can see, there's a structure behind that I am going to be working, okay? The lumber yard, okay? That's what it's going to be, a lumber yard. And I have a few plans on how to make this look as much as possible to what a lumber yard would look like. It's a very small looking one, but I have a very basic idea. Now you guys are wondering, oh my gosh, I already said it. <laughs> you, uh, you guys are good with these challenges. I already messed up. I said it twice. Okay. So that's one of the challenges failed in like less than two minutes. Okay. Now, if you do not know like what a wood splitter is, you can search it up or I can maybe toss an image on the screen. It's a machine that allows you to split wood a lot easier and a little bit more conveniently. And that is exactly what I'm trying to build to make this look as realistic as possible. Now we're going to use a stone cutter and it, if you can see it looks like something that's cutting through the wood and that is going to be what our basic design will look like and I also have a few other ideas is to use some spruce logs and place them alongside the walls here and strip them. So like it looks as if okay the wood got stripped or cleaned or, or uh, split and it's now stacked up against the walls over here and then what I want to grab some rails and just place them alongside uh, right where the logs are. That way, they don't just roll off. They can can be some sort of support to hold off uh, the logs that are stacked against the wall, okay? So, so far, I think I'm doing pretty good with the other challenge. I don't think I've said the word yet. I can't keep track. So, you, got, you guys are the ones. I, I said the word. I already lost at it, so it's not a big deal anymore. But, yeah, the other word I can't say. So, let me know. I have to add a lantern here. I forgot that. Yeah, that's weird. Now, there's another thing I want to do is to make a few chains. I have some iron in here. And I need to go. Oh, wait, there's a crafting table in here uh, right over there. Perfect. We have to make a few chains. Now, I don't know how many I need to make, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, let's just make a few more. We're going to go with 11 chains. That should be enough. Now, the reasons why I want to add chains to this build here is because although it's not really realistic to have some type of you know like chains holding up a log especially when it's trying to move and being split i think just for the sake of looks it would look really nice um yeah so i think it'll look good and also a log is pretty heavy something like this is pretty heavy so we can just imagine that there's something that just kind of holds the log up and just pushes it through it adds a little bit more character to the building if you know what i mean um now there's also a little side storage unit here that i have and i don't think i have any more barrels on me um and someone else in the comment section said um I, I'll, I'll toss it up on the screen it's it caught my attention it made me laugh it was pretty funny essentially i think it was like um minecraft how many barrels and then there's me that just says yes okay meaning like i really like all the barrels in the world just give me all of them that's pretty much what it was and i was cracking up because i thought it was pretty funny but yeah this is the main uh style of the structure i do want to add another uh lantern just hanging from the the top over there i want to add uh chains going down from the side like that i think it looks good 
um, adds a little bit more character to the build. Now, I just realized this here was supposed to be another chain dropping down. But for now, wait, does it go through? That would be crazy if it did. Yeah, but it doesn't. Okay, not not the end of the world. Just in case one of, uh, the, like, let's say the blade breaks on this one, you can replace it with that one. And yeah, overall, I really like the way this turns out, okay? There is a few other things, like some gravel that I want to add around here. Uh, gravel, just like a basic gravel pathway. So let's see how much, okay, I have a little bit of gravel. Um, oh, there's a hole down there, that's funny. Let's just add a little bit of gravel around here. Perfect, and then we can go ahead and make some um, some grass pathway blocks by just going through this way like this. Perfect. All right, that looks good. Awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. Now we have a little bit of bone meal that we can use, and we can place it around here just to break some of, uh, just kind of break some of the flowers around there just to make it look a little better. But adding some grass definitely looks good. Now I've added soul, I think it's called soul soil to the base here because the reason for it is it looks like mud. So in my opinion, I think when you have something like this around here, like a like a wood lumber yard, there usually is a lot of mud around here. So the more the better, in my opinion, to add just. It looks a lot better. Okay, I asked you guys what we should name this one. And you guys have been saying, like, finally, name it. Or build, like, a dog house or, like, a pet house. We are going to do that. I promise we're going to build something very basic. But in the meantime, I want to officially name our cat over here. We don't have a name tag, but I want to name it Oreo, okay? I think Oreo is an absolutely perfect name for this cat because, one... It honestly looks like an Oreo. Like, I hate I hate to admit it, but like it literally looks like an Oreo. We have black and white, and it's perfect. It's literally like an Oreo, besides the green eyes, okay? But Oreo, that's your name. Now, I want to get one more cat. You guys probably weren't even thinking about this. Uh, it's like a twist here because I'm not really a cat person, but someone, uh, one of my friends mentioned to me that I should find another cat and name it Fabio. When I heard that, I literally said to myself, we need to find this cat and officially name it Fabio. Honestly, we have to find the ugliest cat in this village. I feel like Fabio would fit for the ugliest cat in this village, okay? We just gotta look around. I've been seeing a ton of cats around here. All right, guys, I found the perfect cat. This is, this, this literally looks like a Fabio. Okay, wait, cat, here. No, no, some food. I'll give you some fish. Okay, come on. Oh my god, this cat is literally... <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but it looks so ugly. Get back here, Fabio. Oh my gosh. Fabio, where are you going? Fabio, Fabio, come here. Fabio, do you like puffer fish? Fabio, because... Where'd you go, Fabio? Fabio, did... No. There's no way. Did we lose Fabio? <gasps> no! Villagers! You let Fabio out! Hold on a minute. I think that cat Fabio is a lost case scenario right now, okay? Because there is a donkey. I have the perfect idea, okay? Fabio is not gonna be a cat. Fabio is gonna be a donkey. Okay, that right there is the best idea because let's be honest, that cat did not wanna be part of the kingdom. And if a cat or animal doesn't wanna be a part of the kingdom, it is not allowed to be part of the kingdom, okay? This donkey just looks like a Fabio. Like, let's be honest here. This donkey looks like a Fabio. All right, have some of that, Fabio. Okay, you'll have some wheat. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna come with me, <laughs> Fabio the donkey. Oh, I'm so happy. We also have a home for you, Fabio. Fabio, we're gonna have to do something that's never been done before. We are going to break our wall just so we can bring you in here. Do you realize how illegal that is, Fabio? I forgot you can't fit through these walls because you're too big. Okay, Fabio, welcome to the kingdom, dude. Okay, come this way. Let me show you around. Let me give you a tour of the kingdom of your new home. Now, you got Flash over here. He's gonna be your new best pal, okay? So let's let's bring in <laughs> Fabio and his new buddy. Oh, this is gonna be great. Awesome. Yeah, Fabio. So yeah, this is gonna be your, your new home. You're just chilling in there. So we have Fabio and Flash. I'm pretty happy with that. This, <laughs> this is so good. Okay, Fabio the donkey is official. Oh my gosh. I am very, very happy with this right there. Okay. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me to uh to have a pet house for Oreo and for Hunter. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm going to design design a very basic um, structure for them to sit in until we can actually make them a pretty big house, okay? So let me just take a second and I'm gonna come up with a very basic design for them. So just behind me is a very basic structure that I just built and check it out. This is a little uh, dog area. So this is gonna be for Hunter. Now it's not all done yet. As you can tell, there's a few other things I want to add to this so that way it looks really complete. But Oh, this looks so good. It blends in really nicely. Now, I think this is a good spot for the animals. Like, we can easily make this a safe area for them, and they wouldn't have to worry about anything. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm going to grab those over there, and I'm going to instead 
put ourselves some stairs. Now this tree, <laughs> this tree is literally in the way, but it's fine. So we're gonna make this hunter's room, and then we're gonna have uh, Oreo's room like right next to it. So we're gonna go inside here. We're gonna fix this up a little bit in here. Okay, we gotta make this look a little bit nicer, a little bit more comfortable. I don't think we can push this back anymore. Oh wait, we actually can. We could make this a little bit bigger for Hunter. I think you guys would appreciate that um, if Hunter had some more space over here. So we can add ourselves the oak. There we go. And then we could just close up. Oh, wait. I just noticed that we're going to have to add ourselves a little bit more stairs in this corner going up to the top like this. Is it turning night? Oh, no. It's turning night. Okay. I don't want any creepers to attack. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's actually pretty cool. A tree is going right through the house. Okay, I like that. And there's a little bit of space back here. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a lantern in the corner. Oh, that looks really good. Hunter, you're going to like your new house. All right, let me just go get some rest quickly so we can avoid any mobs that want to kill us, okay? All right, so Hunter, follow me into your new little house here. Come on in here, Hunter. Oh, he's pretty happy, I think. We're going to get the gates ready. Perfect. So you're going to just sit right over there. We're going to add your gate. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. So we have ourselves a little house here for Hunter. Um, I would like to get some wool and make uh, somewhat of like a, a bed. Something to look like a bed. Now, I don't think I have any wool on me here. Let me just check my inventory. Yeah, I don't see... Okay, we have concrete here. Yeah, we don't have any wool. But what I'm going to do eventually off screen is I will get some wool and make it uh, a lot more comfier inside. But I just wanted to make a very basic design here. Um, for our, our pal Hunter. Now, we could add maybe some... I don't know. I don't think we could add... We don't really need any chains here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see if there's anything else that I want to add in here. We have our lanterns. We could add lanterns right on the top of the fence posts. So let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Oh, man. Hunter is living like a king over here. This is a perfect little house for Hunter. Now, Oreo needs the same thing. Now, there are house cats and there's outdoor cats. We're going to make Oreo an outside cat, okay? I feel like that would work best with uh, the scenario that we're in here. So, I'm going to grab a few more of the oak. I'm going to make it very similar. So, we're going to have oak going on the side like this. We'll make it by three. Doesn't have to be anything too big here. And then all we have to do is just add stairs going up. This tree might be in the way. So, we're going to remove some of the leaves for the trees. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a little house here for... Oreo. Oh, we need some more. Okay, we need some more stairs. Is Oreo... Oh, are we gonna have to... Okay, we're gonna have to use a lead. Okay, Oreo. <laughs> Cats never listen, do they? Okay, let's go. Let's just... There we go. Perfect. Come inside here. We're just gonna... We're gonna put you in here and you're gonna chill. There we go. Let's go. Inside. Inside. A little bit more. Okay, we're gonna have to like push you in here. What is this? Okay, let's go inside. And perfect. All right. So, so I think that has been a very successful episode. We have a warehouse and we also have an area for our pets. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, we're going to have another crazy episode soon because we are getting close to that 20 mark. So let me know in the comment sections what I should do for episode 20 so I can prepare for it. But without further ado, guys, thanks again for watching. I realized I completed one of the challenges. Now that the challenge is completely over, I can say the word. So I successfully did not say potentially. Now, if I did and I'm editing this, then I guess I failed both of them. But if I have not, I only get one forfeit challenge from all of you in the comment section. So you guys can go ahead and decide because I did fail. I said guys in the episode. So there's that. So you guys can go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections uh, what I should do for the next challenge or the forfeit challenge, whatever it is. But without further ado, guys, thanks again for watching. My name is Alex. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for some more Survival Let's Play. Peace out and stay foxy.